<laughs> but uh, now with the stakes so high, let's call on a Ted Cruz supporter, conservative activist and political writer Julio Rivera joins us from Newsmax, New York. Julio, you are for Ted Cruz. You heard what DML had to say. You want to respond to that? Well, certainly. I mean, just because Donald Trump ran a beauty pageant doesn't necessarily make him beautiful. I mean, to conservatives, Ted Cruz is beautiful. I mean, what's more beautiful than actually acting out and, and, and backing the platform that you actually ran on? Ted Cruz hasn't wavered from his conservative principles since 2013 when he first hit the Senate. That's the reason why the base is with him. And I have to say, I really do agree with Dick Morris. If um, Kasich and uh, Rubio get out of this race, and it does become a two-person race between Trump and Cruz, I really do think that uh, Cruz will wipe the floor with Trump. Let me let me uh, turn to you, um, uh, Dennis, uh, or pardon me, uh, Dick Morris, while we're here. Wh what we've got going right now to see, and, and again, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves because Florida and Ohio await, but we've already taken a look at where Marco Rubio, and, and uh, we don't want to write his political obituary, but the numbers are what the numbers are. Will the establishment, you really believe all the non-Trump forces will coalesce around Ted Cruz, even given his reputation as uh, Senator John Thune called him today, a disruptor in the Senate? No, I, I don't believe that the Rubio Bush donors will go to Cruz uh, or the congressmen or senators, because that's a personal animosity. I think the voters will. Uh, and uh, Cruz will have plenty of money, and it won't matter that he's not accessing them. Before we go further, though, I want to call attention to something I've meant to say every half hour now for the last hour and a half, but I've checked myself. Because if you look at the Michigan Democratic vote, uh, the Democratic primary, which has not been called yet, it shows Sanders leading Hillary 53 to 47 and he's been leading her all night. And at first it was five or six percent, and now it's almost 30 percent of the vote in. And uh, it's possible that that's the outstate time zones and the one we get to the black vote in Detroit. It'll change dramatically and Hillary will win by 20 points. But it ain't happening yet. And that is somewhat surprising given the heavy union concentration in the state of Michigan, people siding with Bernie Sanders. Dennis Michael Lynch, uh, we don't often spend a lot of time talking about the Democratic campaign, but suffice it to say, Hillary is having a tougher time with Bernie Sanders than a lot of folks thought she would have. See, this is why this is where another um, a point is where I... I I think I disagree with Dick because I haven't heard him say it, but if he's going to still take this path with the Cruz thing, I don't think Cruz could win the general election against Hillary. The one thing about um, Donald Trump, which is amazing, is that he's able to bring people over from the left. He's able to be he's able to capture people from the middle. We're going to be covering a story tomorrow on Unfiltered about how a, a, a county in Ohio has 7,000 people so far registered as Democrats. 14% of them have left the Democratic Party and gone over to Republicans so this way they can vote for Donald Trump. You look at all the people in Massachusetts, I think it was 20,000 people left the party and went over to the Republican side. The Republicans have been talking for decades about how it is that they have to get the Latino vote. They've got to get the minority vote. If they don't get these people, they'll never win again. Donald Trump is bringing those people over. Not only that, but I, I love videotape. I have, I have videotaped all of my speeches for the last three years, and it's going to work in my favor. Because a couple years ago, I said the way to beat Hillary Clinton in 2016 isn't the Latino vote. It helps. But it's to get people off the sofa who have been out of the game forever. Get those people engaged and get them back into the game, and we will win, meaning conservatives and meaning the Republicans. And That's speaking, what he's doing. Speaking of expanding the conservative pool we'd be remiss if we didn't go back to Julio Rivera Julio 40 seconds make the case for Cruz in the general election 
Well, the polls have said that in a head-to-head, -head, both Rubio and Cruz beat Hillary Clinton. Donald Trump is the one that comes up short. Ultimately, the thing with Donald Trump, he's been drawing a lot of support from independents that lean left. A lot of those in the general election are going to go to Clinton. And a lot of conservatives and a lot of Republicans aren't going to vote for Donald Trump. You're already seeing a Stop Trump movement. You're already seeing the party uniting to try to stop Donald Trump. What they need to do is figure out who's going to drop out of the race, which at this point has to be Rubio and Kasich. And all the Republicans need to go ahead and get behind Cruz and let him go and against Trump and we, figure out who. That's we the best will have to, to leave it there. Julio Rivera, our thanks. DML. Uh, Dick Morris, stay put, and you too. Our coverage continues after this.